As we enter the final chapter of the NCAA tournament, we take a look at the final four teams and how they got to where they are today. In the West region, our Cinderella team in the tournament, the 11th seed Xavier, who took down the third seed at Florida State and the second seed at Arizona, took on the one seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs, led by Nigel Williams Goss, who would prove that Gonzaga deserved that one seed with a 23.8 rebound performance where he hit four threes. And with the Bulldogs defense holding Xavier to only 20 points in the second half, the Bulldogs rolled to a 59 to 83 victory and their first ever appearance to the Final Four. East region would be the most interesting region. With two powerhouse teams in Villanova and Duke, you would think one of them would reach the Final Four. You thought wrong, as South Carolina would take down the second seeded Duke Blue Devils in the round of 32, and Wisconsin would beat the one seeded Villanova in the second round with the last second bucket from Wisconsin's Nigel Hayes. But it would be the Badgers' Sweet 16 matchup against the Florida Gators, which would gain the nation's attention as the Florida Gators would end an epic overtime game with the Badgers with our first game-winning buzzer beater of the tournament, sending the Gators to an Elite Eight matchup with South Carolina to reach the Final Four. And this matchup would not disappoint, as South Carolina found themselves in a 13-point deficit at halftime, but led by senior guard Sidarius Thornwell, who would score 26 points, South Carolina would rally in the second half, scoring 44 of their 77 points in the second half and defeating Florida to reach their first ever Final Four in school history, earning a matchup with the one-seeded Gonzaga Bulldogs and a chance to shock the world. On to the Midwest bracket. Coming off two blowout wins by the one-seeded Kansas Jayhawks in the round of 32 in the Sweet 16, the Jayhawks found themselves matched up against a strong team in the Pac-12 in the Oregon Ducks who had come off just a two-point win against the Michigan Wolverines in the Sweet 16. This matchup between the top teams in the Midwest turned out surprising as the three-seeded Oregon Ducks would completely dominate the Jayhawks in the first half as the Jayhawks would find themselves down 18 points at halftime, holding freshman standout Josh Jackson to 10 points. But it was scoring guard Tyler Dorsey who had 27 points and six three-pointers who led the Ducks to cut down the nets and reach their first Final Four in 78 years. Oregon Ducks would meet the winner of the South region, where we see two basketball powerhouses square off in Kentucky and North Carolina. North Carolina looking to reach their second straight Final Four, and Kentucky looking to ride their freshman talent to the promised land. These two teams will be in a dogfight the whole game, with Justin Jackson scoring 19 points in the game. The game would come down to the final two minutes after both teams would hit big shot after big shot, but it would be North Carolina forward Luke May who would hit the game-winning shot for the Tar Heels and send them back to the second straight Final Four and looking for a chance for redemption. Which one of these Final Four teams will win it all? I got the Tar Heels taking the crown. Who do you got? Leave it in the comments section below, but until then, it's been your boy, Johnny Walker LA, and I'm out. Bow.